Hello chaps and welcome, welcome again to the channel and uh, another update, update number 9, yes update number 9, it's a lot of updates, but we're doing a little bit and then an update rather than a big bit and an update. This is Tamiya's German gun flak 88, 36-37, 88mm gun, 36-37, okay, flak gun, or gun flak, love the way they put that. Okay, so this is the last in our little uh, mini series on um, classic Tamiya kits from the 70s of German armor, and uh, this is uh, the like I said, it's the 88. Um, last time you saw it, I got the um, the undercoat done, and I got the base coat done then for the flesh for the figures. Since then, like since last night, I'm after getting a nice bit done. Okay, we'll start off with these things here first. Right, these are the shells, the individual shells. Um, just after getting them all nicely base coated. Okay, they're stuck there to a bit of double sided tape. Oops, very, very lightly stuck there to a bit of double sided tape. But as you can see, I'm, I'm after drilling out the, uh, the empties. Okay, yep, they had to be drilled out, they were just solid pieces. So by drilling them out, it just makes them look that little bit better anyway, a bit more presentable and things. Okay, so I just have the tips to do on them and a little bit of smoky damp sort of around the edge of them. Then they'll be fine, they'll be absolutely beautiful. I'm also after getting the uh, the, the wheel hubs done, okay. The wheels themselves. Also, after getting the rubber done on the t on the uh, tires, if you remember, they were um, they were undercoated along with everything else, so they were nice light grey the last time we saw them. So now they have the uh, rubber black on, and that looks ten times better than the um, than just the bare rubber. Okay. In model sense, they look more like rubber than the real rubber. Real rubber is just very shiny and things like that. Whereas that, you know, that's a nice, much nicer, much nicer. Okay. Uh, also, after getting the uh, the motorbike base coated, right? I the, the 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 nice dark yellow down for that. Okay. So more to do on that. More to do on everything, really. When you think of it, yeah, loads to do on everything. Uh, so let's look at the bogies first. We look at the back bogey. Okay, I did a bit of pre-shading, as you can see here from the edges and these. A bit, a bit of pre-shading before uh, I, I, I laid down the um, the dark yellow. For the dark yellow, I used uh, XF88, which is the uh, the new to me a German dark yellow two. It's a nice colour, it's just a little bit lighter, so it's like you can do kind of a lot more to it. Um, they say it's a bit more accurate as well. But uh, you know me, that never bothered me <laughs> in the past, so it's not going to start bothering me now. Okay. So there's our rear bogey. Here is the front bogey, which is the same as the rear bogey, except it doesn't have a seat. Has this little slippy thing here on the front, and this one I added to um, sledgehammers. It'll be more noticeable in the detail painting, but that's the bogies anyway. Oops. Okay. I'll just slip that back into it so it'll uh, slot just much easier. Much easier for who, John? But for me, not for me. Oh, I have to leave that one out, unfortunately. I just have to be careful with it. So let's have a look now at the shield, the gun shield. And uh, the, the pre shading is more prevalent there than that. You can really kind of see it on, on the big flat surface and how good that paint is. It is very, very nice indeed. Okay, and on the inside, if you remember, on the inside of that there, I had some uh, quite horrible um, sprue gate markers or uh, 
sprue release things or the uh, little circular blobs of horribleness. Not too bad if they're a blob, you can sign them flat, but when they're a divot, it means you got to fill them. Uh, these are a divot, and I had to fill them with a, a bit of um, super glue. Just a job of super glue in there and pot, send it flat. There you go. Okay. That's the uh, the front shield. And look at the uh, the cruciform base. Okay. And again, like I said, I did a bit of uh, pre-shading on them. Not really say that noticeable on this piece, but it is when I hold it in my hand. I must admit, um, as I look at it there, you know, me here looking at it, 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 it looks a lot better than say, what it does on film. Unfortunately, it always seems to be the case, doesn't it? That what you're holding in your hand doesn't look as good as it does in film. And I didn't mean that as a double entendre to the people watching the um, Pornhub or anything like that, but no. Um, colours and all that, they just, they, you, you can really see the tonal variation on this, whereas um, it's so slight and subtle that really you can't really see it that much on, uh, on the video. But uh, believe me, it is there, it is nice. Um, it's only a start for, for more to come. Yes, more to come. Um, I'll have a look at the bar now before we look at the rest of the gun. You can really see the kind of the, um, the shades there and that. Okay. The darker shades here and on the where the joins are and things like that. Slightly darker up around there. No, that's where there's sort of a bit of pre shading came in handy. Right. So there's the uh, there's the gun barrel. And then we have the uh, this piece here, which is the uh, the main gun cradle or mechanism, all that kind of stuff. The elevation and traverse and all those kind of good things. Okay, so that was all done. Already now for uh, detail painting and the like. Okay, so I did a small bit on figures as well. Um, I'm not really going to show you the figures until I've until I'm getting happy with them. Um, I just did a bit of uh, how you say a bit of oil work on the faces, and uh, some of them look better than the others. But they're they're great for practice because they're the old to me of figures they're not the best of figures anyway I won't be use I'll be using them say for you know for the final reveal and all that because I have a little dial that I'm going to use for it and I'm going to have the pieces apart but when I'm going to be the sort of finished with that because I don't have room for dials unfortunately when I will be putting it on my shelf I want to make it as small as possible so I'll be putting everything together and I won't be using the figures then so that's why I'm not really worried too much about the figures but uh, they're good for practice they're good for practice trying out different technique with uh, oils on the faces if it works out well, I'll, I'll tell you all about it um, but if it doesn't work out it's pointless only you know just in case you go off and try it yourself and go oh no, that doesn't work at all John uh, I know I found out so anyway, um, that's the update for today. That's about as much as I've got done last night. Um, tonight now, I hope to get the, uh, the camouflage on, okay, the green. Hope to get the green onto that and say some of the detail painting done as well. Because there's a, a fair amount of detail painting. You wouldn't think it, but it's there, it, it's in sort of some hidden little areas and some some quite visible areas as well they all have to get the um to get the the, the detail painting um for us it doesn't give you much info in the book so it's a case of uh i had to do a bit of research into it yes research i had to go searching around the uh inter interwebs and the yes tubes and all that kind of stuff to find uh videos and pictures of, of these in colour just to find out you know what bits are painted and 
rough idea on what way they are painted because usually museum pieces are, um, are they're authentic mostly not always but uh, they do ch generally try to keep them authentic so you get ideas for colors and things like that from that and then you know then you can go weathering it and all oh, that kind of thing and uh, playing around with it after that so don't forget to hit the bell and soon that as soon as I finish tomorrow's video or the next day whichever the case may be we'll get to see that one as well okay and subscribe yep yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed if you have subscribed thank you very much job oxo I do appreciate it I really really do lads and uh, so all I can say is that's the end of it, this uh, today's update I'll have another one up either tomorrow or the day after you know the way it goes and uh, until then enjoy your modelling have a nice weekend and uh, go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it this is John signing off until the next time and until then take care bye bye